It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm rubbing my hands together today in complete excitement uh, because I've not reviewed a Colonel beer in a long time. A long time. Colonel are one of these breweries that do, that make terrific beer, but they don't make a fuss about it. They fly completely under the radar. They've resisted the call of the canned craft beer. They've continued to do what they do in their little corner of London. Their brown labels on their bottles. They're very unique, they're very distinctive. You see it as soon as you walk into a bottle shop, which I did the other day, you see their beers. You see the dark brown bottles and you see that little brown ticket of a label. This one's got beer on it. Um, I don't. I picked it up like that. It was one of the last Baltic porters that they had. So I had to um, pick this one up. It, it was one of the cleaner bottles that they have. Some of the other ones were like worse than this. But it's rather, It's. I, I think what's happened is actually the bottle's sticky. Um, in transit, probably from the Colonel, maybe one of the bottles have exploded. And they've decided to go, hey ho, we'll clean up the rest and put them on the shelf. Why not? There's nothing wrong with this one, is there? The bottle cap sealed is just a bit of a dirty label. Um, so this is a dark lager. It's a Baltic Porter, 6.4% ABV Baltic Porter by the Colonel Brewery of London. Um, I've got a smile on my face because I um, always love the Colonel beer, always thought they Beers were terrific. Oh, I've actually been there. Forgotten all about that, but I've been to the Colonel Brewery with um, my good friend Hopsine. There's the silver bottle cap. It was in a railway um, tunnel thing, one of those converted railway tunnels that they, they have garages in and stuff. But yeah, the brewery was there and it was tremendous. Part of the Bermondsey Mile, I think that it is. Whoa, 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 do you see the smoke on the bottle opening there? Wow. The other thing I really liked about the Colonel Brewery is, and I'm going to say this, we all know this, it's absolutely obvious. London is the most expensive place to live in the whole of the UK. It's a very expensive part of the world. This brewery are based in London. I'm pretty sure their rents are higher than most other breweries in the UK because, of course, they're based in London. Yet, yet, even with their overheads, even with their kind of higher overheads, the cost of a kernel beer compared to a cost of something like a, a, a daya here or a duration or a track, or a beak, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. So this uh, kernel, so let me give you a couple of examples. Um, some of the big beers were £5.65, um, some of the Dea beers were £5.45, and the duration was £5.65. The Colonel Baltic Porter, was three pounds thirty five. Three pounds thirty five. It's six point four percent ABV. It's higher in ABV. I mean this day a soul surgeon here, pale ale. But I don't mind, you know, I bought it, I I paid for it. I you know I I'm not don't mind paying for that sort of thing. But that beer from duration, uh uh sorry, uh Dea Soul Surgeon was four pounds ninety five. For a 3.8% ABV beer, £4.95. That is one pound fifty. One pound I think it's one pound fifty. Do the maths, everyone. One pound fifty more than this bottle of kernel beer. And this kernel beer is 6.4%. Okay, it's a 330 milliliter bottle compared to 400 well, compared to 500 milliliters of beer. But Swings and roundabouts, yeah? Now, where did I put my beer? So, um, this is the Baltic 
Baltic Porter from Colonel. Dead excited for this. He produced some tremendous beer. Uh, two finger tan coloured head. Uh, jet black beer in the glass. Yeah, it looks good. It, it, it does. It looks good. It looks good. Fantastic. Let's get the aroma. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Roasty, toasty, roasted malt, little bit of raisin, little bit of bovril gravy, pipe tobacco smoke, bitter dark chocolate. Again, coffee flavours coming through. And it's a dark lager. It's a dark lager. Wow. <laughs> Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, and how much of a good, lovely, fantastic Stone the Crows dark lager it is. Oh, Stone the Crows. Creamy, rich, a little bit of creme brulee going on. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Creamy, rich mouthfeel. Pipe tobacco smoke. Lovely kind of longing bitterness. It's not overly longing. It's a combination of the hops and the dark roasted malts that are causing the, 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 the bitterness in the beer. But it's fantastic. Longing kind of bitterness. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Bit of raisin, bit of plum, bit of prune. That's a clash with the hops that they've used with the beer. That clash of, of hops with the dark roasted malt is offering plum and fig and prune, raisin. Mm. This is amazing. Amazing beer. I've had beers that have, that have, you know, everybody raves about it. Back in the day, don't get me wrong, back in the day, everybody raved about the Colonel Brewery. Everybody wanted to talk about the Colonel Brewery. And of course, great, wonderful. Um, yes, they would take that all day long. Who wouldn't want to take that um, publicity for your for your brewery? But then once that kind of like other breweries open, so so Colonel have been around way before Cloudwater, way before Daya, way before Track and Duration and Beak, all of these other wonderful breweries, they've been around forever. Colonel have been around, so they launched around about 2010 when we launched when we launched our youtube channel so about 13 years ago might they might have even been longer um but i remember when they came out i remember everybody kind of loving their beer and and but then what happened was they just went about their business they went about their business of just producing really good beer and it's okay for them because because they never wanted to become a supermarket brewery they never wanted to put their beer on supermarket shelves. They wanted enough people to appreciate their beer that they can make a little bit of live, a living out of it. And they're sending it bottles out to bottle shops and, 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 and just, yeah, everybody's happy. Everybody's, you know, Evan from Colonel's earning a little bit of money. Um, he, he's able to get by. Um, the bottle shops can get by. Um, everything's independent. Everything's small. Everything's uncomplicated. I hope so anyway. And yeah, great, 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 great recipe for massive success, isn't it? It's word of mouth, word of mouth. And of course, being on the Bermondsey Mile, yeah, that has its advantages too, doesn't it? I mean, I mean, if you've got people going to that tourist destination to drink beer along a load of breweries mile, where there's a lot of breweries, fantastic. Fantastic. Who needs to advertise? Who needs to have massive Twitter and Facebook accounts and, and, and massive kind of Instagram followings and, and stuff like some of the other breweries do. They don't they don't necessarily need all that, the Colonel. A lot of their stuff is word of mouth. But boy, is it good beer. 
it is absolutely fantastic. Great, great beer. Great beer. Great, great beer. Um, quick talk about Baltic Port. I tell you what, I'll rate it first because I've been going now for something like 12 minutes. Um, some of you got things to do, haven't you? So if you want to hang around for me to talk a little bit about Baltic Porter and the name and where it comes from, I'll do that in a moment. But for now, I'm going to rate it for the people who need to disappear. I'm going to rate it. I think it's a terrific looking beer. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes fantastic. That is one of the nicest Baltic Porters I've ever tried. And I've been to Zivic where they produce the Jewish Baltic Porter. I've been to the brewery in the cellars, drinking it straight from the blooming iron fermenters. Drunk it straight from there. And this is a better beer. This Colonel Baltic Porter is a better beer. Um, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. To all the people who have to disappear, thank you very much. For, for me to talk about Baltic Porter now, I'll do it very quickly. Um... So Baltic Porter, um, they produced, the UK was, had, had a great uh, affair, not an affair, a, a business kind of affair with, with, with Russia. And we would do our business affairs back in the day by trading with Russia over the Baltic Sea. But the problem with trading over the Baltic Sea was in the winter, everything would freeze. It was freezing cold. Everything was free. So, so um, we had a relationship with a uh, a fantastic queen. There, I can't remember the name of the queen. She was a queen of Russia, and she liked our British porters. We, London back in the day was fantastically famous all over the world for producing London porter. Never mind Guinness. Never mind Guinness. London porter way way back hundreds of years ago it was brewed for the porter men who were porters they would they would have little sack trucks and they'd be running through london with their sack trucks through the narrow lanes before the great fire of london burns everything down they they would they would shoot through all the lanes and small alleyways with their with their trucks sack trucks and deliver stuff all around london and of course, that was a pretty hefty thing to do. That was difficult to do. So um, they needed a drink to nourish themselves. A bit like the French farmers with their saisons, nourishing. The farm owner would nourish their farm workers with, with a beer called a saison. Well, well, London used to nourish the working man with the porter. Goodness. You look at this beer. Full of goodness. Full of full of kind of rich energy mm. that would keep you going for two hours wouldn't it if you drank that run around with your little sack truck perfect <laughs> so anyway yeah um so 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 of course Balti uh, uh, porters in london were, were a big thing around the world it was a it was a big thing so so in the winter we tried to take the porter over to russia um it froze the, the normal porter froze in the cold temperatures over the Baltic Sea. So guess what? They brewed it stronger, a little bit like the IPA, the India Pale Ale. They brewed it stronger and they added some more hops to it and it would last the journey. So a bit like IPA went to India, the Baltic Porter went to Russia. And that's how the Baltic Porter was born, really. The, the style, the style Baltic Porter is a Pardon me, a stronger version of the porter, porter beer. Have I bored you? If I bored you, I'm really sorry. Um, I've rated the beer. I think it's a 10 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.